Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, we're here with the second generation of the Castagli Daughters of the Wind Robusto. And here it is. Five by 50. Has a little closed foot, but there it is. Has an average to maybe above average feel in the hand. Now this cigar gets its name from a sixth century Arabian point. Now this cigar is comprised of an Ecuadorian HVA wrapper, an Ecuadorian Criollo 98 binder, and the filler is from the Dominican Republic, Ecuador, and Nicaragua. I missed the first go round on these cigars. I say this is the second generation because these just came out. And I didn't have a chance to smoke the first edition. So we're gonna make up for it now. Hopefully it's just as good as the first. I don't know how the first was, but we'll find out how this one is. The new second generation second production of the Castagli Daughters of the Wind, Robusto. All right. Boy, look at that shiny wrapper. That's what you call an oily wrapper there, isn't it? Yeah. Never get tired of that sound. Wow. Okay. Very good draw. First flavors are a tangy, tart orange citrus with some citrus peel there and brown sugar and a lot of a worn old leather. There's black pepper at about seven to seven and a half. So uh, actually, that's a nice start because the uh, heavy, intense, tart, sweet citrus offsets the leather at this point. Let's hope it stays that way because this is a. Uh, very nice cigar at the light up. So let's just see what we have at the first third and hope things hold or maybe get better. First third. And from the light up to here, the cigar has made a few additions. You still have your tangy orange citrus and citrus peel. The brown sugar is now more or less a caramel. It's very nice and sweet. Uh, there's some cinnamon. And you still have your worn leather. The finish is light caramel and leather with good lingering black pepper. Cigar is medium to full body. It is really tasty. The uh, sweet notes on the front end far and away hold their own with the leather in this case. I really like that sweet combination. Citrus, citrus peel, and caramel. Well, brown sugar, but we'll say it's caramel. Where the brown sugar is probably held. But I would rate the first third 94. Very tasty cigar. Very tasty. So, really want to see how we play out. Let's see what we have in the second third. Yeah, 
end of the second third. Folks, I like doing these reviews and I like talking to you, but I am not going to bore you. Nothing changed. Nothing. It's still just as good. 94 for the second third. That's what I like to hear. Let's move on to the final third and see if we can't wrap this thing up in a positive way. Down to the end, the very end. Not much left, is it? So let's wrap it up. This is one of those cigars that it, you come across once in a while that just starts good and doesn't change. You still have the same notes I started with. And I'll try to remember them from memory, but also from taste. You got tangy, sweet, orange citrus, citrus peel, caramel. Brown sugar, if you want to say this is a separate category. Cinnamon and leather. Black pepper is still good. Still medium to full. Finish hasn't changed. It's still caramel and leather. There is nothing you can really say negative about the cigar. Unless it's the burn time. You're only going to get an hour out of it. So that's as critical as I can be. When I said this was the second generation, I'm not sure about that. So if you want to not quote me on that, it's okay. Second or third. I don't know how many times they produced them. This is the first time I've had it, and I really like it. I hope the other editions are just as good and they probably are so that I have there you have it the new cast oil the cast Dagley, daughters of the wind robusto 94. Mm-hmm.